My name is Ricky Tagaban. I was born in Juneau. I call Juneau home. I do chill cat weaving. Um, I started in 2010 when Clarissa Rizal invited me to take a weaving class from her. I use merino wool because it's available commercially. Um, I'm learning to use mountain goat wool because that's the traditional material. And there's certain benefits to using mountain goat. One of the main components is the cedar bark. It needs to be encased in the wool. And mountain goat wool is a shorter fiber than merino. So it's easier in some ways to wrap the bark in wool when you're thigh spinning. I started making iPhone bags out of chill cat weavings um, because it, I thought it was fun to make um, something that would accommodate people's modern lives um, and use an ancient uh, technique. And they're just big enough to most people can afford them. So they're really more of a commercial endeavor. And the, the designs I take from bigger chill cat robes and so for me, it was really, it, well, it still is. It's good practice for weaving new shapes. Chill cat weaving for me has really reconciled my sexual orientation and my native culture. And it's, I've only had a positive response from my native community. Um, and it's, it's helped me in all areas of my life, um, like grieving, new family members coming into the world. I give them things that they can use in ceremonies. Um, there's, I find a lot of different purposes in my work. The people that I'm the most interested in teaching are my nieces. And when I moved home to Juneau in 2013, I was living with my sister. I was renting a room in her house and I was taking care of my nieces um, almost full time. And so they saw me working there were times when my niece Reese would ask to sit on my lap and she wanted to try twining. And with her five-year-old motor skills, it would be both arms, you know, not a very graceful motion. Um, but that's how it used to be is you would grow up around it. And when it was time to sit down and do it, it wasn't a foreign concept. And so nowadays when I have a student for two weeks who's never seen it before, it, it feels like a longer process because it's more of a foreign thing.